similar backgrounds, but we're obviously bringing different things to the table. You know, where were you when the first year at Vanderbilt compared to now, and how is that developing? I, I think very good. You know, it, you got to remember this too. Um, you know, me and John's both first big break in the profession was at the University of Maryland. You know, with Ralph. So we kind of both came up, up came up with that. You know, John was actually with Ralph for 13 years, three years at Georgia Tech and 10 years at Maryland. So that helps. I think my first year being a head coach was John's first year being an offensive coordinator. That helps. Um, when I went back to the University of Maryland as an offensive coordinator, um, we, I installed my system. It wasn't like we went there and ran a system that was already in place. So I think that helps. So John was with me installing and running that offense there and saw how we like to do things. Same thing with Ricky Ronnie. Ricky Ronnie was with me when I installed that offense at Kansas State. He was a graduate assistant at the time, so he actually did the playbook and helped me put everything together. So um, I think it's very helpful um, from that perspective with those guys. You know, Herb's got great background. You know, I don't know if a lot of people even realize this, but Herb uh, was with Gus Malzahn when they had the number one offense in the country um, at um, Tulsa. At Tulsa. So, He's got some really unique and interesting experiences. You know, Josh Gaddis has got great experiences in the NFL and college. You know, uh, Charles Huff, you know, his, his time in the NFL as well as us, with us at the University of Maryland. So all these different experiences coming together, but I think the important thing now, after everybody being together for multiple years, is everybody understands the, the, the philosophy as a whole. And what happens is you get great plays or ideas that you see other people running. And they may be great plays, but you have to be careful because you grab those plays and you try to put them in your system, and they don't really fit the system, and now you lose your identity. So it's okay grabbing ideas and bringing them in if they fit your system. If not, then you lose your identity, and then that's when you watch a team that's just running plays and not running an offense or a defense or special teams. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think that's where... That's where my job is, is to make sure that, you know, we, we stay in our philosophy um, as, a, as a complete organization. And I think, I think me and John have evolved with that over the last however many years that, you know, me and John have been together, 10 years or so. And I think it, get be it gets better every single day. I usually come in in the morning and I've thought about something in the night and I'll write it up on John's board if he's on the road recruiting and we'll cover it next time he's in the office or if he's in there. I'll come in and we'll talk about it. And I'll say this is something I saw when I was watching film, and I think this would fit really well with what we do. It complements because of our personnel or whatever it may be, and he jots it down, and it goes on maybe the installation sheet for camp, or he says, "Well, I'm not really sure about this, and this is why." We have really good discussion and really good dialogue, um, and usually it's like that. We just kind of bounce ideas off it, off each other. Every once in a while, I will say. This is what I want to do and why, but not very often. Usually it's just a discussion. Because ultimately he's calling the plays and he has to feel comfortable with what he's calling. 